very good evening from Paula in the southeastern region of Malta as we prepare for this Champions League qualifying match. Here's the first leg of this uh, two-legged tie in the second qualifying round. Hibernians FC off Malta taking on Maccabi Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv, of course, the champions of Israel. Tonight play their first match under the guidance of venue manager Slavisa Jokanovic, who uh, last season guided Watford from the second tier in England to the Premier League. Was subsequently let go. Now has the opportunity to try and take his new team into the group stages of the Champions League. Long, long way to go before that happens, of course. This is the side that they will be uh, up against. Jeffrey Ferrugia in charge of uh, Hibernians. A home team. Massive underdogs, you would say, for this particular encounter. Some uh, familiar names in that Maccabi Tel Aviv side. Uh, Tal Ben Haim, wearing number. 26 he's making his competitive debut his second competitive debut for the club he returned this summer after leaving Charlton Athletic he originally left Maccabi Tel Aviv back in 2004 to move to England Played for a vast number of clubs Bolton Chelsea Manchester City Sunderland Portsmouth West Ham Queen's Park Rangers and Charlton also had a spell in uh, Belgium with Stanley Liège. At the age of 33, he's back. And makes his second debut. 14 years, more than 14 years after making his league debut for Maccabi Tel Aviv. In his first spell, April 2001, came on as a 90th minute substitute in the Tel Aviv derby against Hapoel. Very different game here, a lot at stake. Vashkin Sergei uh, is... Uh, Sergei Vashkin, rather, is the uh, referee this evening. The Russian. Assisted by uh, an all-Russian team as well. All four officials. And we are nearly ready to go. And it will be the home side, Hibernians FC, the champions of Malta, who get us underway in this first half, attacking from right to left. Huge test for them tonight. Can they? Bring a bit of a surprise. Large number of uh, Champions League fixtures going on this evening. Finnish side, uh, Helsinki have already uh, had a good start in the second round by uh, beating uh, Ventspils of Latvia. All in all, there are seven games that have kicked off in the last uh, hour or so being played at the moment. There aren't any goals to report in any of them. Saints of uh, Wales involved tonight and it can red imps of Gibraltar. Got a tough task away at uh, Midgillen, the uh, Danish side. It's Maccabi Tel Aviv and Hibernians that we'll focus on here this evening. Southeast of Malta. There's Ben Haim wearing number 26. Play at the back, obviously, for uh, the visiting side. It looks as though they are going with a back three. To be Ben Haim and Garcia. 
Mitrovic playing it back to Garcia. Looks as though he's going to play in the uh, middle of the uh, back three. Your ball goes down. And free kick to the Israeli champions. There he is, Slavisa Jukanovic. First competitive match in charge for him. It's a turbulent time for managers at Watford last season. He was the one who eventually got them over the line and into the Premier League. Flores, the man who's taken charge of uh, that side, of course, for the upcoming season. Can his uh, Maccabi side get off to a winning start under his reign? Well, they've got themselves a corner. First corner of the match. Nikola Mitrovic with the corner, headed away at the near post, wasn't the greatest delivery. Benheim. Mitrovic again, put the ball over the top, it's gone uh, all the way over the top this time, into the arms of Borg. Jürgen Borg. Of, uh, five Maltese players in the starting 11 for Hibernians. And also five Brazilians and one from Equatorial Guinea. As the uh, shot comes in, it was a decent attempt as well from Jorginho. time the Hibernians have uh, threatened really. And it wasn't a bad effort at all either. And a 29 year old Brazilian. Some of his career early on in Japan, uh, Jorginho. It's a new arrival as well. Here's the uh, captain, Cohen. Justin said trying to slip it through into the uh, penalty area. It's come to uh, Rui de Garcia, who's uh, lost out. And here is Mitrovic trying to slip the ball through. Great chance for the opening goal. What a terrific save by Borg. Jürgen Borg to the rescue for Hibernians. That could so easily have been 1-0. Maccabi taking the corner quickly. Now Mitrovic. Vermut. It's a good challenge. Christensen getting the ball to his skipper Cohen. Cohen fouled and think it goes Hibernian's way. What an opportunity this was. And it denied by the goalkeeper, Jürgen Borg. First big save of the night. was uh, another over-enthusiastic challenge by Diaz on uh, Tal Ben Haim, the other Tal Ben Haim, 25-year-old forward.
It's nicely dealt with at the back there by uh, Magius. Uh, Juma. He went on a long run and he was upended, but fairly. And uh, Ikebo, the uh, Nigerian, is brought down. Gabby Tel Aviv have a free kick. This is uh, a good challenge. Well, the Maccabi skipper had to get it right, though. Not such a good challenge there. And Christensen. Gibor inside the penalty area. Benba sat there too. Gibor trying to keep the ball alive for the visiting team and has done that. Mitrovic unable to find the pass through to the Nigerian. It's back with uh, visiting side again though. Here's Ben Haim. Slightly ambitious ball from him. It's gone out of play and it will be a goal kick. Cross into the penalty area. It's a decent header away. Here's Diaz. It's not a bad ball out wide. Lima has kept it alive. Delivers the cross, and there's an acrobatic attempt from Juma. It's over the top and behind for a goal kick. Decent enough start here for uh, the home team. That was ambitious. Pablo, Juan Pablo not uh, required to deal with that. Five-year-old Spanish goalkeeper. The two Spaniards in the stunning 11 for Cabo Tel Aviv. Seven of them are Israeli. Mitrovic of Serbia and Egibor of Nigeria. Vermut. Igibo. Dormicia. Igibo. Dormicia again. It's uh, gone all the way through instead to Borg. Lima. Jeffrey Ferruccia, the uh, head coach for the Maltese side. He'll be relatively happy with what he's seen so far. Has needed uh, his goalkeeper to come to his rescue on one occasion. Of attempts from a couple of the Brazilians in his team. Just uh, given Maccabi Tel Aviv something to think about in these early stages. Gilmar and Jorginho looking lively, and Cohen is fouled there.
equipment. He's trying to slip that wall th through and uh, Alti side have dealt with this. Another round of qualifying after this, of course, and then the uh, playoff round as well. Before you can reach the group stage, it's a long, long way to uh, an own draw in Europe's premier competition. So to meet again in a week's time, of course. The second leg, Tel Aviv. The corner's been given. here for the home side. Corner taken short. Lima. Poor first touch that let him down. What's going to have a play for a throw? Slip through uh, towards Ben Haim. The Maltese side unable to keep that ball in place. It will be a Maccabi throw. to the penalty area. Igibo. Ben Haim. And to throw it. Garcia forward. Micha. It's a decent looking pass through the middle. It didn't quite reach its intended target in the end. Now Cohen. A little bit of luck there. The uh, home side. They still have possession. A little bit of luck again. And it was uh, Gilmar trying to make his way towards the penalty area. In the end, it ran off towards the opposing goalkeeper, Juan Pablo. Benheim. Tibi. ball in midfield the uh, visiting side and might be a break on here for your home team that one probably too close to the goalkeeper and it is gathered easily by Juan Pablo 
quickly releases it as well. Ball can come and deal with that. A significant save, the only moment of uh, note really in this first half. Closest we've come to an opening goal. And Haim just to win it back here and succeeds. They give all. Carlos Garcia and back to his goalkeeper and now Ben Haim. Vermut. Garcia. TV. Ben Haim once again. Patient build up play here from Maccabi Tel Aviv. Misha. Vermut still going settles for the corner in the end Well, apologies for the uh, breakup in uh, pictures, as you might have just worked out there. There was a decent opportunity there for the Hibernians. Turning effort going uh, just wide of the post. And hopefully those uh, technical issues have been resolved as Maccabi threatened to open the scoring here, and they have. Igibor turns it in. Just over 20 minutes gone in the first half, and moments after the Hibernians' best moment of the match, it is Maccabi Tel Aviv who strike first in the Champions League here tonight. Slavisa Jakanovic's side open the scoring. Nikibor's finish from close range. Good little header back into the danger zone. The Nigerian couldn't really miss from there. No chance for Jurgen Borg. No say Nikibor gets the goal. Goal. It's always valuable. It's, uh, 
competition. A two-legged tie. And this is the Nigerian international who strikes first. Four-year-old midfielder who's played uh, in Norway. And, uh, played for Real Betis as well. A couple of seasons back. Uh, just before he joined uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv. Did play for Hapoel Tel Aviv. They're uh, big rivals for the season. goal of the night and Maccabi Tel Aviv maybe now will feel a little more comfortable about where they are in this game and in the tie as a whole there's a long long way to go getting the first goal away from home as well as I mentioned already so crucial will be disappointed. It's a uh, solid start. Created a couple of half chances, hadn't hit the target, still haven't managed to hit the target, but it's that chance just before the goal that could so easily have gone 1-0 up. Moments later, find themselves trailing in the first leg here. It's Lovisi Yakanovic, it's Maccabi Tel Aviv. Come on the break. Here's Ben Bassat. Stopped in his tracks. The ball had gone out of play anyway. Back by Mitrovic. ball through, he gear ball. He's got into the penalty area. Can he finish it off here? And he squared it. Oh, and it's over the top from Ben Bassam. I think the defender may have got a really crucial touch. This might be an absolutely brilliant block. He does just deflect it over. Aki is throwing himself in front of the ball. Thought for a moment that uh, Igibor had overrun it. But uh, Agius prevents the second. It can't be Tel Aviv, still just one goal in front. Mitrovic with the corner. So had to bounce inside the penalty area. Everybody missed it. And now Lima could break away. Looking up to see what he has in support. So Gilmar just left it. It's gone all the way back to Juan Pablo. <laughs> the through ball, this time cut out by uh, Rui de Garcia. Let's see, uh, Foul on uh, 
Fela. I think maybe a little bit fortunate here. Maybe a bit of contact. He had run into trouble, no doubt about that. Run this from Gilmar. He goes down. Free kick has been given. In a good position. Fainer has immediately grabbed hold of it. I'm not happy with where the ball's been placed. Trailer lining this up. Set it straight into the wall. And the rebound is smashed high over the crossbar. Your ball's goal still separating these two sides. Well taken goal it was too. Relatively simple finish, but still had to put it away. A little break here for the players to get a uh, quick drink. Warm conditions here in Malta. The Israeli side will be happy with what they've achieved so far in this first half. Chance for the coaches as well just to relay a couple of messages. Lively uh, players in the Hibernian side, uh, Jorginho and Gilmar, Andrew Cohen and Jackson Lima have all uh, had their moments. Slavisa well, Jokanovic will probably be relatively pleased with what's happened so far. took over as manager of Watford in October and only took over until the end of the season. He's got that promotion on his CV. He's had a pretty varied career really. Started off with uh, Serbian side Partizan Belgrade after finishing his playing career. A few years after he uh, finished he then went off to Thailand. One from United where he's Team then he went to uh, Bulgaria after that to go to manager Levski Sofia. Hercules uh, in Spain after that, and then Watford. And now uh, Israel, so he's had a very varied managerial uh, career so far in eight years or so since he started. Every time he's changed jobs, he's moved country. And his side of some defending to do now, and that's a decent ball to the far post, just over the head of Jorginho. He's threatening to get on the end of that cross and really give Juan Pablo something to think about. Let's go back to Slavisa Jokanovic. He 
a pretty varied uh, playing career as well. He played for Partizan, who he later managed. To Oviedo, Tenerife, Deportivo. Macarini did have a spell at Chelsea, you may remember. Long times, 15 years since he signed for them. Ben Haim. It's a great run. And he went a long, long way, the 33 year old, caught on the edge of the penalty area. And it's going to be a yellow card. Pion Christensen picks up the booking. And the Cup Tel Aviv have a free kick in a very promising position. produce from here Mitrovic goalkeepers dropped it oh and it's eventually come off the post it's a huge strike of good fortune for Hibernians Mitrovic with the ball in somehow it wasn't turned in after the goalkeeper failed to gather it Borg made a complete mess of it Tibby was there at the far post and somehow failed to turn it in. I don't think he was expecting to find the ball in front of him like that. Just didn't react quickly enough. Big let off here, Bernians. Alberman. Ben Bassa. So back again, looking for Gibor. Bernians clear their lines. So they have desperation about that clearance. Get the impression they're starting to feel the pressure. Starting to look a little more vulnerable than they did in the early stages of the game. Here's Ben Haim again. A wonderful surging run forward a couple of minutes ago. Cut out though by Christensen. And here is Gilmar. Gilmar is fouled by Alberman. A free kick. And maybe Hibernians can make something of this type of situation. It's clumsy from Alberman into the back of the Brazilian. Lima might be the one to uh, have a go this time. 
Jackson Lima hits it low into the wall, deflected behind for a corner. the corner headed away not the greatest delivery Kick opportunity this time. Fire into the box, that was a better delivery. Forward by uh, Rui de Garcia. Oh, one it? Needed a block to get it away from the danger zone. Fire again, Jackson Lima. They're unable to get through, but uh, Jackson Lima has knocked it back into the penalty area. A little bit of uncertainty at the back here for Maccabi Tel Aviv, coming under some pressure for the Maltese champions. Gilmar loses out. Well, maybe Maccabi can break. It is a throw in this time. So Maccabi Tel Aviv, six minutes away from. Going in with a half time lead. Out of play. Good as well by Christensen. You'll see it. Mitrovic needed a touch on the defender to take it away. Diaz is back there. And he gets fouled. Lima. Gets it back again. Jackson Lima's cross. Naeem's header. And Binions lose it out and uh, it's a chance for Vermouth to get forward. Vermouth again. Mitrovic slips it through. Ikebo going in. Couldn't finish this time. Good goalkeeping work again from Jürgen Borg has made uh, some important contributions to this first half.
themselves another corner. Cohen will take this for it, this uh, corner rather. Floated it in nicely. Just bounced under the head of the uh, Hibernians players that were in the penalty area. It's an important interception. By uh, Ruda Garcia. It's alive by Agius. And lost by the home side. To slip it through again, but uh, <laughs> ball was now put out of play with two players down injured. Nagius, one of them. And the Sun also uh, feeling the impact of that challenge. Both players recovered though. Turning the ball to Jürgen Borg. As we enter the final minutes of normal time at the end of this first half. Kabi Tel Aviv leading through Igor Borg's goal. And a couple of chances for the home team. Ultimately, haven't been able to take advantage of those opportunities. Haven't really tested Juan Pablo yet either. Struggling to hit the target. And they do get shots on goal. It's obviously going to be a problem for them. Uh, they've shown enough in this first half that they are capable of getting back into the game. This isn't going to be quite as one sided as perhaps some people thought. Benhaim. Misha, Mitrovic, and again, All right to Misha, just one minute of added time to come, Misha, Vermut, good football here, could be a second, it was just a little too high for Ricky Bohr and Ben Bassan coming in behind him, couldn't get onto it either, good ball in by Vermut, Ricky Bohr was stretching, Maybe just jumped a little too early. <laughs> Hibernians survive again. In the dying moments of this first half. Here is Ben Haim. Ikiapo. Ben Haim again. Mitrovic. Just has the ball taken away from him, and there is the half time whistle. The Bernians hanging on a little bit towards the end. They did have chances in the first half, but it's Nosa Ikiapo's goal that separates them at the break. And Kabi Tel Aviv with a crucial lead and a crucial away goal as well. As the first quarter of this two legged tie comes to an end. For the break in Paola here in Malta, it is Hibernians FC nil, Maccabi Tel Aviv 1.
Well, welcome back to Paola. Here in the uh, southeastern region of Malta. Just about ready to get underway in the second half here of this Champions League second round first leg encounter. This is the qualifying stages, of course. And Maccabi Tel Aviv leading the home side. Hibernians FC by a goal to nil. There has been a change at half time. Ben Harush wearing number 20 has just come on and he is replacing the number 24 Nikola Mitrovic Benheim's header across goal was turned in by Ikea Bohr in the first half for the only goal of the game so far. It is the uh, attacking Tal Benheim, not the uh, debutant playing at the back. Over on that far side. In the back three, it is uh, the man who's uh, just uh, gone to ground actually. For number 11, Tal Benheim. He headed the ball at cross goal for Nossa Ikea Bohr to score. It's Ben Harush with the uh, first uh, significant touch of his in the second half, but it's uh, the multi side who come away with the ball. Here is Falia. It's fallen kindly here for Jorginho. Couldn't find Gilmar. Jorginho had a couple of chances in the first half. Failed to find the target, but certainly had Maccabi Tel Aviv worried. Here's Diaz. To set up an opportunity here, might still come for him, it's uh, dealt with there by Alberman. It's a good uh, challenge again, Faila. Now we give all, he goes to ground, it's a foul by Lima and a free kick to Maccabi Tel Aviv, a yellow card as well for Jackson Lima. Comes the second player to pick up a yellow card. Christensen booked in the first period. Here's Tibby. No Garcia. Wide by Carlos Garcia. Alberman. Looking for the cross. Might come to Ben Harouche here. The, uh, whistle is gone. It'll be a free kick. And, uh, talking to at least for the substitute. card for him as well. Just come on. Here comes the uh, first Maccabi Tel Aviv player to go in the referee's notebook this evening. Henri Ben Harouche, 25 year old. So from Maccabi Netanya back in 2013, Israeli international. Alberman.
Alberman. Ben Harish. It's Ben Hain. Nicky Ball. Is this a chance for Hibernians? Slip through towards Gilmar! Well, that was a chance. It's going to be a corner. Couldn't quite get it on target. Lovely ball slipped through. It's Jorginho, actually. Jumma played him in. And Jorginho tried to flick it beyond the goalkeeper. It came off the boot of the defender. Comes the corner. That's uh, an awkward one for McCarby to deal with. Misha trying to put some pressure on the defence, but uh, Rui de Garcia dealt with that well. Alberman. He gave up. Nikia Ball, with a lovely ball through, chance for a second. Now, was there a challenge there? And was it a fair one? Ben Bassat went down. And he's shown the yellow card for his uh, angry protests. Ed and Ben Bassat, absolutely adamant that he was caught there. Have another look. Maybe a little tug, a slight nudge here or there, and nothing given. I don't think the booking was for simulation. I think it was for protest, but it may have been for a dive. The referee did seem to take a while before he actually stopped playing, produced yellow cards. I can only assume it was for the protest that followed. By the way, it is uh, a yellow card for Ben Bassat. Second booking for the uh, visiting side in the space of three minutes. The problem for Hibernians is that they still haven't managed to get a shot on target. It's on the move again. Oh, that's a nice ball through Cohen. And was he pushed down? The referee said it was a fair challenge. Well, that really was uh, an interesting moment in the game as Jamut tries to go for goal. His effort is blocked. Quite open this at the moment. Asking for another free kick there, and they felt there should have been one a few 
few moments ago with Andrew Cohen going down on the edge of the penalty area. Christensen loses out. Here is Tibby. Ben Harish rather is back to Tibby now. Alberman. Decent looking ball over the top. It was dealt with well enough in the end. For Suarez getting it away, and here is Cohen. Ten minutes gone in the second half. So Bernians nil. Maccabi Tel Aviv won. And here goes Diaz taking on the substitute. Lima lining up the shot. Not really catching it with enough power. Goal kick. Was this a foul on Cohen? It did look a little soft. There's a little bit of a nudge from Ben Harush. Already on a yellow card, of course, the substitute, so just to be a little bit careful. Seen free kicks given for softer fouls, let's put it that way. It's a good hold up play by Cohen. It's, uh, it's almost a really good ball out wide to Gilmar, just intercepted. McCarvey certainly not having it all their own way at the moment. And his shot is uh, a long way out, but. again off target and has been the problem for Hibernians they just haven't hit the target at all Ben Harish's header. Throwing into the penalty area, flicked on, allowed to bounce. And eventually, home side come away with it. Alberman, Misha. Christensen. Cohen. And Jorginho stopped in his tracks by Tal Ben -Haim. Clean sheet on his debut, I'm sure. Second debut for the club. Over 14 years since his last one. Yeah, I'm going to see a change. And, uh, it's Zaki, the man who's uh, come on in place of uh, Gilbert Vermoot. Gathered by the uh, Calvi goalkeeper Juan Pablo. Zaki, the man who's uh, just come on, he's a 30-year-old uh, attacking player, he's uh, had uh, 
recently varied career. Mustafin has been in Israel. He has had a spell, had a short spell with Racing Genk. He's also loaned out to the uh, Greek side. Uh, this is Famagusta. Christensen's header. Ben Harush. TV. Misha. Failer putting him under pressure. Failer going down, but nothing given. Nikia Ball. He is fouled. Takes the free kick very quickly. Can't be Tel Aviv keen to keep this moving. Trying to get a second goal just to uh, ease the pressure. And then they probably settle for a 1 0 win away from home. At this stage, it is just about getting through to the next phase of the competition. The ball is gathered by Jürgen Borg. Uh, intercepted by Lima, not before time. Tel Aviv entering a little spell of possession here. Ball over the top. Attempted ball over the top by uh, Ben Haim. Nikia Ball then trying to make his way through. Something from Malta. We're still in this one. themselves a corner as well. Andrew Cohen setting up a, an opportunity perhaps. to the uh, far post there from uh, Faila. And substitution will be made now. And it's the first change of the night for the home side. George Santos coming on. To replace uh, Gilmar. Hey, hey, Santos. Okay, 
eight-year-old. Comes on to play up front. One Brazilian for another. Seen all uh, six of the uh, Brazilians in the uh, Bernians squad. Various times in this match now. Five of them started. George off the bench. Borg under pressure there and managed to get it away. I think the referee has given the free kick. The challenge on Jürgen Borg. A little late. by Christensen, cut out by Ben Haim. Ben Passat holding the ball up well, here's Ben Haim again. Attempts the cross, plays it back instead to uh, Ben Harush. Alperman. Benarish. Benaim. Benaim just fell into control that on the edge of the penalty area. Ben Harush did pick him out. And welcome Hibernians again. Look at the counter. Wouldn't write them off, you know. Very well, find an equaliser from somewhere. So out of play by Rui de Garcia. Approaching the midway point in the second half now. Slovisi Jukanovic's side are still in front. It is still a very slender lead. around this stage in the uh, first half that uh, the Israeli side took the lead through uh, Nossa Igiavor. Christensen. Cohen turned away well. He's clipped that into the middle. And uh, Jorginho unable to get to it. Benheim, it's a good run. His pass was intercepted. Pull out of play here because there's a man down. For the Bernians. It's Jackson Lima who's in need of a little bit of treatment. Uh, back on his feet. A few results actually to bring you from the uh, Champions League qualifying 
matches played earlier today. Uh, Helsinki winning away in Latvia at uh, Ventspils by three goals to one. Goalless between Amparel of Cyprus and Macedonia's uh, Varda. And uh, Midtjylland of uh, Denmark have beaten the uh, Lincoln Red Imps by a goal to nil at home. So that tie is still uh, very much open. Lincoln Red Imps made history by uh, in the first side from Gibraltar to make it through the first round of qualifying. Lidegrets of Bulgaria on the verge of being beaten by uh, Miss uh, Milsami of uh, Moldova. In the first leg there, it's 1 0. So, fairly big teams involved as well. Molder of Norway, 2 0 up in their uh, match at the moment. And uh, Max of Star Bucharest and Poznan also playing at the moment. But uh, remains 1 0 here. So, let me see Jokanovic's side. In the slender lead. Actually, his former club, Partizan, where he spent time as a player and a manager, are in action as well this evening up against uh, Diagori of Georgia. Call us in that one. But he'll be uh, entirely focused on events here. Good thing is, uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv side can come away with something positive. They already have the away goal. Even a draw, I suppose, here wouldn't be a, a disastrous result in itself, although it would probably be seen as a bit of a disappointing outcome given the stature of the two clubs. Tel Aviv became champions of Israel for the 21st time earlier this year. 23 time winners of the State Cup as well. as many league titles but they have a good uh, record in Malta they won their 11th title their first in six years six years ago they were knocked out in uh, preliminary qualifying by Cypher Montenegro they feel they've got a chance in this one as the ball is uh, played in and hacked away it's a decent looking cross Fans trying to lift their team. They still have 17 minutes to find an equaliser. It's another decent ball in, and they do have the equaliser. Jorginho scores, and Ibernians FC of Malta have levelled it up at 1-1. One -one. And you just felt it might happen, and now it has. The Brazilian. With the simplest of headers. And no matter how long he stays at this club, that might be the biggest goal he ever scores. What a moment. For Jorge de Silva, Jorginho. An equaliser. They're just over a quarter of an hour to go. Lima with the ball in. It's a really difficult cross to deal with, and although it's a close range header, it's a slightly awkward one. It bounces up in front of him, just flies in and connects beautifully to knock it over the line. Great ball in. Couldn't have asked for a better delivery. Maccabi Tel Aviv. Stunned 
by that equaliser. Just need two sets of players have a quick drinks break. real optimism and a lot of noise now coming from the home fans Mercer Ikiabor's goal cancelled out by Jorginho and drinks break probably coming at a good time as well it just gives Rubinians the chance to settle down regroup themselves thing is, if it was to stay like this, you would still have to hand the advantage to uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv. We were looking to hold on to that narrow lead. The chances are starting to come. Paul is uh, gathered comfortably by Jurgen Paul. Big cheer from the home fans. To throw it out of play because there's a man down again. So there it is, he needs treatment. Alberman. TV. Keep it to uh, clear that one, but Union's looking lively again. Visibly lifted by that goal. Kind of expecting them to finish the stronger of the two sides now. by Lima, looking for Jorginho. Good ball with the header and the foul.
again. Cut out by Ben Harush. It's a ball that has landed right in the path of Jorginho, but he was offside. again but Alberman intercepts the name and get it back again here and, uh, we have the options on the uh, far side the yellow card has come out here for Diaz for that challenge on Ben Haim of that booking. Oh, Maccabi Tel Aviv will perhaps look back at that chance, uh, or the uh, penalty rather, that wasn't given. Eden Ben Basak going down. And book for descent. He's absolutely adamant that he should have been Awarded the penalty. Just wonder how costly that could be. Free kick goes straight into the wall. Zaki and able to uh, make the most of that free kick. So Kanovic will be uh, extremely frustrated. side get themselves another goal as I mentioned before one all away from home not a disaster gives them the edge An away goal with a home leg to come you'd expect them to beat the Hibernians at home in a week's time they were to concede another goal I'd say it was a different story they still have the away goal still have a good chance Uh, would be uh, far from a done deal as uh, Misha goes in here and will pick up a yellow card for that challenge. So Misha is the uh, third. Kavi Tel Aviv player to be uh, cautioned this evening. Six bookings in total. Three apiece. Clayton <laughs> Fahler still feeling the effects of that challenge. Cohen will take the free kick. Decent looking delivery, and it's gone in! Oh, it's incredible! Hibernians take the lead with just over five minutes to go. I think it might have been Jackson Lima who got the final touch. That is a huge goal. What a moment for the home side. Jackson Lima has been credited with it. Certainly looked as though he was the man who got the final touch. Jorginho went off celebrating. But this is an absolutely massive goal. 
the Hibernians. Floated in by the captain. Whether the defender got a touch on that, I'm not sure, but it was. Jackson Lima, definitely his goal. One of the smallest players on the pitch. He rises to head the ball into the bottom corner. Beyond Juan Pablo. Slavisa Jukanovic, his first game in charge, is certainly not going according to plan now. The multi-side lead by two goals to one with just five minutes remaining. What a five minutes we're in for now because Maccabi are going to go for this. This will be quite a big defeat. Verging on embarrassing you would say. Maccabi Tel Aviv are the top ranked club in uh, Europe according to the UEFA rankings system for club competitions, 98th in Europe. The Bernian's not even the top team in Malta. Third in Malta, 419th. They are the champions of Malta though, uh, you have to remember that. They've deserved this lead, and where they played in the second half, maybe got a little bit of good fortune. Still, they come forward. They've already put themselves in a decent position for the second leg. Another goal. They've really settled that, but uh, yes to take it on himself Maybe to find a target Diaz with the header Jorginho I'm trying to play it back to Diaz TB was in the way Diaz does have it taking it into the corner try and win a corner Ben Harish comes and Throws the ball away to safety. Oh. Lies will be on the Russian referee, Sergei Kapochkin. How much time will he add on? That's the question. A huge number of stoppages in the game. A couple of uh, minor injuries, a couple of substitutions. I think maybe three minutes, four at the most. Four minutes can seem like a long time when you're trying to hang on to what would be a huge victory. noise in this stadium <laughs> beat teams from uh, Iceland in European competitions before This would be probably their biggest victory. 
looks as though just one minute will be added. Beat uh, Shelburne FC in the Champions League qualifier back in the 2002-2003 season. But I'll go out on a limb here and say that this is going to be the biggest victory in the club's history if they can hang on for the few seconds that remain. As I say, it looks as though it is just going to be the one extra minute. We are in for a bit of a shock. will be a huge cheer. And it's actually four minutes, not one minute of added time. So we're nowhere near completion yet as uh, Andrew Cohen goes off. Johan Bezina is the player who uh, comes on to replace him. Wearing number 19. He's got two and a half minutes of action here. Long way to go in the tie. But still probably say that Maccabi Tel Aviv are favourites to go through. But going into a game, needing to win. In a second leg of uh, knockout football is something that certainly isn't easy to do. If the Bernians play anything like this on the night, then they will give themselves a chance and they will have a real chance if they can find another goal. In the closing moments here. There might be one more chance for them. And the shot was a disappointing one in the end for Christensen, just a goal kick. The only positive, as far as Maccabi Tel Aviv are concerned, is that away goal. Tibby. away again. Jackson Lemos had a fantastic game. Pulled offside this time. And a change on the way here. And it's going to be Mbong who comes on for the goal scorer. And the scorer of what is likely to be All that set them on their way to victory. It was the equaliser, Jorginho's header from close range. Two headed goals for Hibernians tonight. And he's not in a rush to leave the field of play. He's getting a fantastic ovation and thoroughly deserved as well. Two Brazilians have delivered for the Maltese champions tonight. Joseph Mbong is the player on to uh, replace him. Four minutes have been played. We're just waiting for confirmation of the victory now from the referee. Ben Harush, Tibi. Maccabi Tel Aviv need to get this ball forward quickly. Ben Harush, Tibi goes backwards. Garcia, Ben Haim. Still no full-time whistle, Ben Haim's long ball forward. Anywhere will do now. And let the ball go out of play. Maccabi Tel Aviv asking for the corner. The Bernians just waiting for that final whistle. There it is, a huge result in the history of Hibernians FC. They have beaten 
the Israeli champions by two goals to one in the first leg of this Champions League second round qualifier. Still 90 minutes to be played, still a very good chance for the visiting side to turn it around in the home leg in a week's time. Slavisa Jukanovic off to a losing start in his new career as manager of the Israeli champions. They have been beaten despite going ahead. That man, Nosa Igiabor, getting the goal in the first half to give them the lead. But Jorginho and Jackson Lima scoring in the second half to turn it around. And here in Paola, it has finished with the Bernians coming from behind to beat Maccabi Tel Aviv, the Israeli champions, by two goals to one.